her just as high when she's tired. Heights? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death. Yet, unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. I could use someone like you in my settlement, with ink on his fingers and a sense of honor. I would love to devote myself to the study and practice of the law. There is a weariness in war I wish I could shake off. Impossible. Even in death, our battles will rage on. It is the way of things. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Where is your king now? Alfred is busy with the Elderman of Wessex. A Witten was lately called to discuss the little matter of a bishop's timely death. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much stared in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Abel. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. <sighs> Bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly Lord believes Brand, in him. My brother Aelfer, it... Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I know the burden you bear. Such a weight of sin you have taken on. And all for your brother's sake. I know he lives. No, he's... He said it was for the good of all. He... I am his loyal sister, and I tell you, he is dead. You hear me? Dead. Leave me alone. I cannot betray my brother. Guards, protect me! <laughs> Only his... Spread out! We have this! <laughs> Leave me alone! Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where's your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more of the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all. 
risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Show me. Who is Suwaro the Warden? The Drifter will show you people. Asser, is it? How's your riding faring? Who are you? An admirer? Can it be true that so soon upon my path God has sent me adulation? <laughs> I have only just begun to walk in Alfred's footsteps. Oh, but please read my scribbles. Enlighten yourself about our great king. Thank you. I'm sure it will be informative. Not a patch on our sagas. Where's the drama? The heroic brushes with death. Not a patch on our sagas. Where's the drama? The heroic brushes with death. Get us up with the bard. The Sikhs must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Not priest, clan, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelferth is dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education, wisdom, enlightened thought. This will raise us above the sins of our fathers. These I will demand of the next bishop.
How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came, and God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all, and I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's Wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy man to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony, not a lot. We'll go by back streets to the old minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. Elfirth, my love! No! Curse you, Dane! My brother served God! He was not a Christian. He abhorred your god. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there.